the government should intervene at the highest levels, the Prime Minister should immediately contact the President of that country because if there's any chance of deporting the citizen and extracting him, it's between the time of the arrest and before the case is referred to court where it becomes really complicated and uh, destroys or damages the chances of being uh, sent back home. I think Prime Minister Harper did not realize the urgency of the situation and how complicated the case was while Canadians and the Air National Chorus uh, got it right away and I believe that he should have intervened immediately uh, although the, uh, the team on the ground and the ambassadors were uh, visiting me and taking care of the situation I believe that uh, due to the political turmoil in the Middle East Prime Minister should intervene behind closed doors immediately just to make sure that he can extract his citizen back home. I think when my colleague Peter Greste was deported uh, back to his country, uh, this was the best chance to go public because he had uh, the same so-called evidence brought against him, charges and accusations, and he was sentenced to seven years the way I was. So I think that's the best time. The Arab Spring is buried, not just dead. We're seeing uh, no civil liberties, we're seeing very little uh, press freedoms, and human rights are threatened on a daily basis in the Middle East. And I hope that this uh, dream of living a true democratic uh, society in the uh, Middle East could be revived again. You don't go through an experience like this without being a changed man. I am now uh, fighting for other journalists uh, in prison behind bars. Uh, I am more excited about giving back to all those who supported me, signed petitions, tweeted, joined rallies, because that support is the reason why I'm here today. And I'm thankful to everyone, the Canadian government, the Canadians on the street, and everybody who just fought for my release. And I hope that uh, we continue to fight for others behind bars.